Hi, my name is Carolyn Service from O2Bstamping.com. Today I want to show you this cute Valentine's card made with a stamp set called Groovy Love. And it features a technique using the Blendabilities markers. So let's get started. So to start, these are the supplies that I'm going to use and a piece of paper here. So I'm going to start just by using my Memento ink, black ink, and the Groovy Kind of Love sentiment. Now that stamp set has several other stamps, uh, st oop, stamps that you can use, but I kind of like this one. Um, I also liked the one that says, uh, you make my heart go boom boom. Actually, you know, I think uh, I think I might use this one. That way I'll have um, one that has the groovy kind of love message and one that has make my heart go boom boom. So actually I think I'm changing my mind mid-taping. I'm going to use this one. So I'm just going to ink this up with my ink pad and I'm going to stamp it right in the middle of this piece of Whisper White paper. And... I'm going to use the heart punch to punch it out. Okay, I'm going to set that aside for the moment. And then I'm going to just get the rest of my card prepared. So um, I'm going to use the snail adhesive on the back of my designer paper. I will post all the item numbers and the names of the different supplies I'm using, the color of the cardstock, etc. Um, at the end of this video. And a little piece of, I just like this color and I wanted to highlight it a little bit. And so I'm just going to add that right to the edge here. Okay, so my card now is all ready for the technique. So I'm going to take this piece of black cardstock, bring this in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to use this particular heart, and um, I'm also going to get out my embossing buddy. And just rub that over the black cardstock. This is probably pretty important being that it's black. You don't want any little flakes of the embossing powder to uh, you know get on the uh, um, outside of your design. I'm going to take my Versamark ink pad and my stamp and actually I found too that I like to um, ink this one going this direction so that I make sure that I don't get a lot of ink in the center section here, which is easy to do if you're doing it, you know, the opposite way like this. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this off to the right or left, doesn't really matter which. And then I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to stamp it slightly up and to the opposite side and they where they are going to overlap. So you can see that? Not bad. Okay. Then I'm going to take my white embossing powder, a little container to pour the excess in. I'm just going to sprinkle this over top of that Versamark ink and check to make sure it looks like I want. If there's any little specks, you can always just brush them off. I've got one little speck there I don't want. Okay, looking good. Put that aside. Then I'm going to, you can use a close pin or anything to hold your embossing while you emboss. I'm actually going to put this on a clipboard that I've um, put some tin foil on, just a little mini clipboard. 
and that way I don't burn my fingers. And also the tin foil actually um, helps to heat up the surface a little better. So now I'm going to take my heat tool. Excuse the noise on this. It will be a little noisy, but um, not for long. What you're looking for is that powder to melt. It gets a little shiny, as you can see as I go around. Have it all embossed. Just going to turn that off and remove it from underneath the clipboard. And now for the magic. So I am going to take two of my blendability markers. Um, these are actually the darkest two from the collections of the Daffodil Delight and the Coastal Cabana. I'm going to use my paint tip. This is very forgiving, so if you if you go off of the lines at all, um, the black cardstock tends to hide that really well. And then I'm just going to color right on top of the blend the uh, design with my blendabilities marker. And then you can change the color to like anything you want. I love this particular um, technique. just think it is so cool and so very easy. And it's important to make sure that you um, put your caps back on the blendability until you hear this little click. Okay, that makes sure that makes you know that they're closed tightly because they are alcohol based markers. You definitely want to make sure that that's they're closed tight so that they don't um, dry out. Okay, and this is with the Coastal Cabana. Isn't that beautiful? I love this color. Now, I don't know if you can see this in the video. I doubt that you can, but I am a little bit off the center of the coloring coming around that edge there. And you just can't even tell that I have made a, a slight mistake. There we go. So you just want to color the white. And I'm not going to color that piece because I'm actually going to punch that out. So that doesn't make any difference. Again, listen for the click. Okay, and then I'm going to come back with my heart punch. And I am going to punch this piece out. And I am going to replace it with my heart you make my heart go boom boom and actually I just realized too you don't need to punch this piece out this could just be flat piece for wasn't thinking about that so I did punch it out okay um, so I'm just going to put it on my card actually I'm going to go ahead and put this piece on first so that I know exactly where I want this to go so we'll go about like right here I think it's going to look good I'm just going to put it down very gently in case I have to want to move that and then I'm going to add this nail on the back of my black piece and go right over the top of that. Now on my original I did use some ribbon and a pearl. You can see this uh, element here but on this one being that um, we have some really cool buttons for free in the celebration catalog with every $50 purchase. I've decided I'm going to use uh, one of the free buttons instead. So I'm going to put this down here. And you can actually put some little uh, white baker's twine in that if you want to. Um, I am going to skip that for the moment and actually would put this on with glue dots but being that I just looked around and realized I didn't bring my glue dots into the room with me uh, where I'm taping I'm just going to add a little bit of the Tombow multi-purpose glue because I love that glue anyway and I'm just going to put this down in the corner here let that dry for a moment there we go and zoom out a little bit because so you can see the whole card a little bit better. And there you go. Quick, easy, fun, simple. Love it. 
blendabilities technique. I love finding new ways to use the blendabilities. And actually I should point out on this card that I made with the little pearl, the pearl is actually white to begin with and then I just uh, colored it with the same magic marker, the Coastal Cabana Dark. Um, to coordinate it to the colors. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Again, my name is Carolyn Service with O2B Stamping. I am at your service, so if I can be of any assistance, please let me know. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.